So in today's video, uh, I am going to show you guys the mount that I just finished uh, for the AGV AX 980V helmet. We make a line of GoPro or other action camera chin mounts that are specifically designed for all of the different helmets that we make them for. Uh, I just made a video about this one. This one's the Fly Formula CC helmet, and you can see just how customized this mount is specifically. This one, since it doesn't have as many curves, obviously doesn't need as many features, but it's designed specifically for this helmet to be rounded in every direction to fit the mounting surface. And we also take into account things like these air vents. So in this case, right, you've got uh, an air vent that opens and closes like that. And then you also have the ability to remove this section of the air vent, right? So this piece comes out. We uh, make our mounts to consider all of the different air vents um, that are included. And so that way you don't lose any of the form or function of your helmet. You can use everything as it was intended and our mounts aren't gonna get in the way. The other thing that we take in into consideration is a tip back angle. So right as an ADV helmet, if you were to stand up on the bike, you would want to be able to tip your camera back to an appropriate angle so that you get a parallel view of the horizon and it's not tilted down, right? Like if it was mounted closer to the helmet and you stood up, it would be uh, just looking down at the ground. We also include these tilt back indicators on this side and that allows you to see kind of a visual reference of how far your camera's tilted back. Because a lot of times when you're riding ADV, um, you might not necessarily be tilted uh, or, or as aggressive and tilting your helmet as far forward. And so it'll allow you to set the camera further forward if that's something that you want. You don't necessarily have to have it tilted all the way back. So one of the coolest features of our mounts is that they are made out of hard rubberized material called TPU. It's a flexible material and it's impact resistant. So we have run these things over with trucks, we have smashed them with hammers, we have thrown bricks at them, and we did it all to the same helmet or to the same mount and it didn't break. Um, so these things are extremely rugged. You can really beat on them. You don't have to worry about um, dropping your helmet or something like that and worrying about the, the mount breaking because they can take a punch and just keep on going. These mounts are mounted to the helmet with double-sided sticky tape. Uh, it's a 3M brand. It's basically the same stuff that GoPro uses on their sticky foot uh, mount that's usually included with a GoPro. And we do glue the tape to the mount using uh, Gorilla Clear Grip Glue. That is a rubberized glue that just really bonds to both the tape and to the mount itself. So it's very secure. You can still get the mount off if you wanted to, but you'd basically have to destroy the tape to do that. So we do recommend that you stick it on and just leave it there. But if you did have to remove it, or if you, uh, God forbid, you crashed hard enough to rip the mount off of the helmet, you'd be able to replace it. We do sell replacement tape on our website and you can just glue on new tape and um, away you go. One of the cool things that we did with our mounts is we reversed the screw direction to go through this direction instead of this way, which normally GoPro accessories and the GoPro mounts that GoPro sells themselves all have the screw going this direction. The reason that we did that is with the later model GoPros with the Hero 8, 9, and 10, they all have this side door and that's for the battery, obviously, but it's really hard to get this open with the screw going through this direction. So. This allows you to change batteries on the fly without contending with the screw. So we get a lot of questions about whether or not our mounts work with the media mod, and you can see here that it does. Um, while I was talking about the screw, uh, the screw's obviously intended to go through this direction by GoPro because they created this nice little cutout, which we don't use because our screw goes to the other direction, but it actually doesn't really matter. Uh, GoPro put all their electronics right here on this side, so this side's actually thicker and it's hard to get your fingers on the end of the screw, whereas in this direction, you can actually get a hold of it and torque it down, um, which is really nice and is just, um, you know, kind of an added unintentional feature of our mounts. So the last thing I want to cover real quick is 
wide chin mounting. So obviously everyone's seen footage of people who run their mount um, on top of the helmet or to the side of their helmet. The reason the chin mounting is really nice is it gives you the lowest possible point of view while still being attached to your head. So you still get that gimbal effect, stabilization, but you get that point of view that's closer to the ground and it gives you that deeper perspective of the train that you're riding over, which makes it feel and look like it actually looks when you're riding over it. I think everybody's had the experience of riding through terrain and you go back and watch the GoPro footage and you're like, man, that just doesn't look like it did in person. Well, mounting it to the chin bar of your helmet is going to help a lot with that because it drops it by that, I don't know, 12 or 15 inches or whatever it is. That gives you just that much more terrain or that more perspective of the terrain that you're riding over. It also keeps it centered with your point of view so it doesn't feel lopsided as if you're mounting it to the side of your helmet. If you're doing any kind of motor vlogging, it puts the audio pickup closer to your mouth, which gives you better vocal reception and allows you to just get a bit clearer audio if you're talking to the camera. Wait, and there was oil leaking out of here. Where? Here? Where wasn't there? When you when you punched yeah, it? Yeah, I punched it here. And that and was did it again. just now, huh? Yeah. The last thing that's nice about uh, chin mounting is that it's naturally more protected. So as opposed to it being on top of the helmet to the side of the helmet where you can't see it, if you were to take a tree branch and it swiped off your GoPro, uh, you might lose your GoPro permanently. And best case scenario, it would tilt it back to a point where you're just getting uh, video recording of the sky, which is what everybody wants to get with their GoPro. Two, if you were to crash and just go over the bars, you're more likely to turn your head to the side. And in that case, I think uh, it's also more protected because it's just naturally out of the way. Last thing I want to talk about is what you get when you buy one of our mounts. Uh, so you're going to get a mount, obviously. Uh, and you can see this is one of the older hard plastic ones uh, that we used to make. You're going to get a screw. You're going to get an alcohol cleaning pad and you're going to get a couple of cool stickers. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is fit your mount up to the helmet. They're individual helmets that they were made for, and that includes like how far onto the helmet it's supposed to be mounted. And like in this case, right, where the wings are flexible, you could pull it all the way back and just stick it onto the helmet, and you wouldn't get that ability to get the tilt back angle. So in its kind of resting state, um, without putting any pressure on it. Fit it up to the helmet so that way you can see exactly where it's supposed to go. And then clean your helmet, make sure you get all the dirt off of it. Peel off the uh, sticky backings and then peel it back a little bit. I like to hold the helmet between my knees with the helmet facing me, sitting down, and then just peel these back out just a little bit, place them in, and then release it and just press down on it um, with it all aligned and it should stay there. Uh, without any problems, it should never come off. What we also sell, and this is not included with our mounts, is a 90 degree adapter. Uh, so if you're shooting for social media like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Facebook, uh, you may want to consider picking one of these up. It allows you to tilt your GoPro 90 degrees and that allows you to get the aspect ratio that's for the native phone screen. And that gives you all of the pixels within that aspect ratio, which makes your footage look a lot cleaner and a lot higher quality for your social media accounts uh, and you don't have to crop it um, like you would normally have to do in post-processing. So check this out if you are doing this for social media, check out our mounts. There will be a link in the description below uh, for our store and you'll also find links to our social media accounts like Instagram where you can actually check out the footage of us using these mounts. Our, all of our footage at this point is being filmed with our mounts. Check out our podcast. Uh, we interview a bunch of different professional enduro racers like Graham Jarvis and Cody Webb and a bunch of other cool people, so you won't want to miss that. And buy them out. Check it out. Thanks.